Hi there, Jim here. So a while ago, I did a review of the uh, Multicomp Pro MP7186 linear DC power supply. And when I did the review uh, at the time, if you watched the review, you saw that when we have the uh, power supply set up to deliver 3.3 volts and 0 0.005 amps or 5 milliamps, and we turn it on, keep an eye on that LED, the green LED at the bottom there, and you can see that it every time we turn the power on, it flickers or flashes very brightly for a really brief period before it sort of settles in to the constant current mode. And so you can see, and maybe if you can catch it on the display of the Multicomp Pro, you can see that when power is first applied, it momentarily thinks that it's in constant voltage mode until it detects what's going on with the current. And uh, so I was wondering what that looked like. And at the time, we didn't have the uh, scope in the lab yet, but the scopes arrived. Uh, I have an unboxing video for the scope as well. And so I thought, let's see exactly what's going on when that happens. So give me a second, I'll hook up the uh, scope probe, and we'll see what happens. All right, scope's hooked up, and uh, we've got a trigger voltage set so that we can catch the rising pulse. And so let's see what happens. We've got this set in single shot mode. Hit that. And you right away can see the uh, pulse there on the scope. Let's zoom in for a second. So let's look at what that means. Let's just adjust the scale here a little. Okay, so right now we're set at one, uh, one volt per division. And we can see that the voltage is rising to uh, one, two, three, probably about 3.3 .3 volts, which is what the power supply is set to. And then it rises up to 3.3 .3 volts over the course of, uh, uh, where is my horizontal setting? My horizontal setting, uh, it's 20 milliseconds per division. So it takes about uh, one, two, three, four, Four and a half, maybe five. Um, you know, so it takes about 100 milliseconds for the power to shoot up to the full voltage, and then it realizes once it's hit the target voltage that it's over current, and then it begins to bring the current and the voltage down in order to meet the constant current setting that's set on the. Uh, on the power supply. So you can see that the power supply is putting out about 1.9, about two volts, which is just about where we see the setting there. And so if we set the, uh, let's reset this for a second. Let's set the, power supply to go up to 4 volts, reset that, okay, and so now you can see that uh, it's actually gone up one, two, three, it's almost gone up to four volts. It's gone up to about three and a half volts. Oops. Oh, the grid doesn't move, okay. So yeah, it's pretty much gone up to full four volts. 
before noticing. So I wonder, I'm not interested in burning out the LED. Let's uh, set it up to 4.4 .4 volts. Yeah, so it's gone up. So, if you're uh, if you're worried about what the voltage is that's going to go through, well, and the current as well that is going to go through the circuit until it realizes that it's too high, you might want to, when using the power supply, you might want to start out with a lower voltage setting so that when you first turn it on, you don't get that spike because uh, I imagine we get a pretty big spike. So let's see what happens as I start to drive the voltage higher. So here we are at, uh, at six volts. Once again, the amperage is set to cut off very low, uh, 15 milliamps. Okay, so once again, uh, the scope set to two volts per division, so it's gone almost to six volts before the clamping is kicked in to bring it down to lower levels. Now let's turn that off, reset this, seven volts. Okay, so you can see now it's gone to uh, just about six volts, just over six volts. Let's uh, turn that off. Eight volts. Okay, so it hasn't gone to eight volts. It's gone to about, uh, about just over six, so let's try nine. Okay. So let's uh, stretch that out a little bit. You can see that the voltage shoots up. Now it's shooting up a little more rapidly here, but it's uh, coming to about two, four, six, seven volts before getting cut off. Let's uh, set this to 10 volts. Okay. So it's not going to 10 volts, but it's going, uh, going to about eight. Okay, so keep bringing this up in increments. Okay, still happening. Okay, so change that to five volts for division. So it's not quite hitting 10 volts, even though it's set to 12. 13. Okay, so now you can hear a bit of a click. So something is changing the behavior, but it's still hitting almost 10 volts. Let's just uh, take it up to 15, see what happens. Here. All right, I had to adjust the uh, trigger. The trigger was set a little low. So the trigger, we'll just move that up to uh, five volts right now. So the power supply is set to 15 volts, but uh, 15 milliamps. And so when I turn it on, you can see on the scope that we still get the pulse. The pulse is now going, it's uh, five volts per division. So it's going not to the full 15 volts, but it's going up to about 10 volts before being uh, 
before, after the uh, same time period. So if we look at the time period, we're looking at about 20 milliseconds. So there's about 40 milliseconds, so it's pretty quick. So it's detecting it much quicker, of course. It's, uh, so before it was taking about 40 or 50 milliseconds, now it's about 20 milliseconds, so it's fairly quickly detecting that the voltage has taken it to a point where the current's going to be too high, and it switches from uh, constant voltage mode into constant current mode. Okay, so there you have it. I think we'll see the same behavior. So it seems to be detecting pretty quickly. We'll take it up to 20, one, we'll do one more. We'll take it up to 20 volts. Do that. Okay. Okay, so there you go, 20 volts. It's uh, it overshoots quite a bit, so it's overshooting to about uh, 10, probably about, uh, you know, 10, 12 volts there. But uh, it very quickly detects that the voltage has gone, uh, or sorry, that the current has gone too high. And, uh, and it brings it back down under control. So I hope that's been useful to you. Uh, seems to be a pretty decent job for the power supply overall. Um, as the, the voltage drives higher and higher as we sort of went through the stages here, you could see that the, uh, the power supply was detecting the current was going too high uh, fairly rapidly and then bringing the voltage down uh, in order to limit the, the current going through the, uh, the LED. I hope that's been helpful for you and uh, thank you for watching and, uh, and please don't forget to subscribe.